Hey guys, what's up? It is Range Report, August 21st. Let's get into it. All right, thought I saw something on the ground. I think I do. Anyway, squirrel, it's Range Report. So we actually got out to the range. We got out to Sutton, uh, the range out here. It's actually pretty stinking nice. I got my favorite spot, which is a big old hole in the ground away from everybody else where I can actually shoot and do my videos. So I was able, thankfully, to get some stuff done, some actual work done. So, some stuff that we worked on uh, without giving too much things away. Some stuff you can't see because it hasn't been released yet and I'm working with some companies that people don't really like and that's okay, take it or leave it, is what it is. But we did some testing on some stuff that goes on guns. Um, that was really cool, I really liked that. Um, it probably would have been best to do more at night um, okay, I got that up. Uh, it would have been best to do more at night because it would have made things a little bit more visible. Um, but it was still fun. It still kind of proved its point. Did its thing. Uh, we did our little review on it, and uh, it was pretty fun. There's other people over there shooting, so hopefully that doesn't mess with the audio and everything. So some other stuff we did. We shot all this stuff, right? This is. The, I think we finally figured out the issue um, with this guy. Turn it this way so you can't see everything. Um, the issue with this feller the 7.62x39 AR that I have. It's been having some serious mechanical issues. It just doesn't want to run, doesn't want to cycle, doesn't want to do its thing. Um, but we have an adjustable gas bucket in here and I've never really used one a whole lot so I ended up tuning it up a little bit and now it seems to run just fine. I didn't have any of the issues that I usually have. Um, it actually cycled the magazines. I think it was just a tuning problem. Um, which I hope is really what it was. So it functions fine now. It's a nice smack and hard hitter and it's doing what it's supposed to do, which makes me very happy. It makes me very, very happy. So put that guy away. Um, this guy, my 11 and a half inch gun, one of my favorite builds. Um, in this configuration, he's super short. 11 and a half inch is really, really nice. Um, but we have also been having a little bit of problem with him and he does not have an adjustable gas block. And so we kind of finicky to round with stuff. We used it as a test bed. We were doing some other things and it worked fine most of the time, but then it had a couple little issues and stuff. And the, I boil it all down to, I need another adjustable gas block because unsuppressed, he's a dream. He shoots, he, he, he runs, he's, he's great. Um, suppress it, then you gotta have some, some cycling problems because it's over gas. But we shot it with the, uh, well, this guy kind of lives on it, the Turbo K. Um, really nice can for the what you pay for. This is a fantastic can. Even with it on there, it balances everything out. It's really cool. Anyway, wasn't really a re review of the can or anything, uh, but we did test some stuff on the gun. We tested the, uh, or ran, tested, whatever you want to call it, the sling by, uh, I almost said We the People, by Warrior Poet. Starts with a W, right? Warrior Poet Society. Um, ran that guy a little bit and had some fun. Had some fun. So that was a good, that was a good profitable experience with that guy. Um, this feller still needs some work. I haven't really talked specifically about a bunch of stuff on it, but this is my version of not a sugar weasel. Um, same basic dimensions, but it's not the same thing. Um, and it's having problems. Everything has problems. It all has problems. This is what happens when you garage gunsmith stuff. Um, it drops magazines, right, when you're shooting. I think it's because I have this adjustable, or not adjustable, this ambidextrous magazine release. I don't like it. I need to get rid of it. Um, cause I think that's really the only problem with it. Other than that, it's pretty stinking good. The Warhammer, um, is working just like it's supposed to. Everything seems to be fine on there. And on this gun and on the 7.62, we tested or did a first round look, first round pop, whatever, of the Dead Air Nomad L, right? This is the first time bringing this guy out and that was pretty fun. It was interesting. I like it. I, I do like it. Checkbox. I like it. Um, does it do everything it ever lived up to do? I don't know. You have to watch the video and find out. Um, but it was pretty cool. That was just a big stinking suppressor. That is for sure. Um, and at some point, I'll do a very in-depth, or much more in-depth, maybe not very in-depth. I don't get too technical on all my stuff. But um, we'll do super subs, different things and stuff. But that was a really cool thing we worked on today. Um, also, along with some other stuff that we helped test out, we shot this guy, which is a very, very fast shooting um, AR MP5-ish, had a baby and made a thing. So this is actually pretty cool. These little sights from, I'm going to try to say it right, um, 
Fiaci, F-E-Y-A-C-H-I, F-E-Y-A-C-H-I. It's right there on the back, you can't read it. Um, but these guys also, it's the same thing, right? These guys are just some metal sights, right? A lot of people use Magpul. Magpul's good, it's fine, but they are plasticky. Give it and take it, some people hate it, some people love it. These are metal, um, and I see them holding up pretty stinking good. I like the adjustment, they're easy enough to adjust. <sighs> Might be something to look at, uh, but these were sent to me. So I tested this out along with something that attaches right here, and that was really cool, and nine millimeter. That was, that was fun. This is a very fun gun to shoot. This could get me in a lot of trouble because it costs a lot of money to shoot this the way that I shoot it. Um, just costs a lot of money. So I have to be careful about that. But it's a lot of fun and it did its job. It actually, it, the gun itself, super triple thumbs up, did a fantastic job. Um, the stuff that was on it did a pretty good job too. All right, I think we're almost done. We also did a comparison with the Omega 9K and for the first time, bringing out the Odessa 9 from Dead Air. We did a first round pop with this guy. Um, we tested it out on all the different lengths, shot it wet, shot it dry, compared it to the Omega 9K, another pistol can. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I actually think it's pretty neat. We shot it on the, uh, where they go, on the, whatever this is, Glock 19 size gun, and the 48 2.0. So anyway, guys, that was pretty much all we ran over today. Um, we didn't run over anything, but all we went over, all we shot and did things. Um, we got a decent amount of footage, so hopefully we have plenty of videos and stuff out there for y'all. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that you saw here, please do let me know. Um, I will try to answer them for you. If I can, if you want specific answers and specific data point things that maybe we can't share on YouTube, hit me up over there on Instagram in the messages and I will get you probably more specific answers to things if you want to. Um, if you want more in-depth kind of stuff like this or a, like not just a flash look, but a little bit more of a look into things, right? More than just what you should get right now. Um, you might want to go over and check out my, uh, my Patreon. My main thing over there is I try to once a week go ahead and do an extra video kind of talking about specifically what's going on that week, whether I make it to the range or not depending on if I'm sick or not. This last couple weeks I've been sick, so I apologize. Um, but I generally try to give more information over there for the people over there. So if you wanna go check that out, go check that out. I really appreciate you guys that do. You know who you are, you're fantastic people. And everybody else, you're still cool. Still love you anyway, all right? Y'all be good to be safe. Hopefully we'll catch you out in the next video.